and welcome to the complete guide to using your Android Lollipop Nexus 6. Today it's some more basic handset tips. To take a screenshot of currently what's on your screen, hold the power down and volume down button at exactly the same time for about a second. The screen will flash and the phone will make a noise to alert you that a screenshot has been taken. You can then swipe down in notifications to see it. As well as the notification that you get when taking a screenshot, you can also look at the screenshot through the Google's photo application. For users who want to know specifically where the pictures are stored, through a file manager such as ES File Explorer, you will find them in the picture folder followed by the screenshot folder. It's definitely worth downloading a file browser application as the Nexus 6 doesn't come with one pre-installed. To put your phone into a very simple vibrate only silent mode, first press the volume button to bring up the controls at the top of the screen. You can then press the bell icon to set the handset to silent and press it again to bring it out of silent mode. When you have the volume controls displayed you can also change your priority mode which is controlled by the three buttons below the volume rocker. If you set it to none you will not receive any notifications or alerts at all, not even alarms to wake you up. You can set this for a period of time or indefinitely. Priority mode does give you a little more control and only allows notifications to appear that you have prioritised. You can also delve deeper into priority settings here using the cog icon. Also note that when you are in non or priority mode a symbol will appear at the very top of your screen in the status bar. The most pointless thing you will find on your Android Lollipop device is the native email app. I know this because if you open the application it even tells you that its functionality has moved to Gmail. So if you have a custom home screen launcher you might as well hide it from your app drawer. It's useless. If you set alarms through the default Android Lollipop clock application you can see when the next one is due by looking at the notifications quick settings. You can also tap on this alarm to quickly access it. If you want to add a row of numbers to the top of the default Android Lollipop keyboard, start by long pressing on the comma button until a cog appears, and then you want to select Google Keyboard Settings. Now choose Appearance and Settings followed by Customized Input Styles. Press the plus icon in the top right of the screen and then choose your language. Next is the layout and this is the important one because you want to choose PC. When you press add it will ask you if you want to enable it which you do. On this screen you will need to toggle off user system language and then toggle on the new PC keyboard you just created. With that done your new number featured keyboard will appear. Like so many Android devices before it the Lollipop operating system supports USB devices. To kick off any USB device you will need an OTG or on the go cable. You can easily get such a cable from Amazon for around $2 or less. The micro USB side plugs into your device and then you can use USB devices as normal. Most don't require additional applications, just plug them in and see if they work. You will find mice and keyboards work perfectly. However, if you want to use storage devices like USB sticks and hard drives, you will need supporting applications like Nexus Media Importer. If you want the ability to end calls using the power button, go to settings and then scroll down to accessibility. Then scroll down this screen until you find the power button ends call toggle and switch it on. If you want to rename your device's Bluetooth name so it's easy to distinguish when you're trying to pair to it, go to settings and choose Bluetooth. Tap the three dots in the top right of the screen and then select the rename device option. From here it's simply a case of renaming it to whatever you like. Thank you for watching this video gadgets journal video today. My name is Rob and each of my videos is designed to inform, intrigue and entertain to connect you with your technology. Today I've been connecting you with the Nexus 6. If you want to follow more of my journal on a the device then click over here. If you want some useful hints and tips on the Nexus 6 click over here and if you want more information about the channel in general then click on me. Thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.